So hello, Darkwing Doll here. I'm sorry so dark in here. It remains to be dark in every place that I live at. <laughs> but today is Saturday and it's Upcycled and Recycled uh, Wearable Art Day. This is the show that I do on Saturdays. Sometimes I do it on other days. Basically what it is is me showing you upcycled and recycled wearable art projects that I've worked on and either in the middle of doing or have completed. So I want to show you one that has been has been completed and it's on my Etsy shop because so many people ask me um, where can I find this or that uh, piece of artwork that I saw you put up well um, for a while I wasn't putting anything on my Etsy shop because I don't have any storage on my laptop for me to transfer my photos from my camera phone to my laptop so I can load it up onto Etsy so uh, what I had to do was uh, figure out how to load up photos from my phone to Etsy and they have this app called uh, sell, sell for Etsy, sell to Etsy and you can um, sell your whatever it is that you're making, art you're making from the photos off your phone you can load them up onto Etsy through that app so I finally figured out how to do that and this is one of the creations that I loaded up it's a very much a labor of love I took one of these um, I've got a whole bunch of, uh, hold on, let me go grab them, and I can explain to you a lot better what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm back. So, once a month, I used to get this, uh, I belong to this service called Ipsy, where they'd send me a bag, really fancy little bag, makeup bag, along with uh, cosmetics and skincare products. I could no longer afford to do that once a month, so I decided to save the bags and do something really fun with them. So these are the type of bags I have, like I have this one to work with, pretty cool. I've got this one, it's a silver one, I like this one a lot. And then I've got this one which is more like a, a mesh, like um, sporty like type of bag. And then I've got this one, this is like a multicolored blue, different colors of blue. This one, and then... Um, I have this one which I've begun to make something with it, a handle for it. So this one right here, I totally altered. So this is what I'm doing with these bags, I'm altering these bags. And I'm making them into little purses. And basically what I did was sewed a fabric doll on there that I already made um, with my own like my own beads for the eyes and the mouth and a painted chicken bone for the hair for the hair and uh, you can check out the Etsy listing I have for this and it tells you exactly all the stuff that I used to make this this bag so basically I took this bag it was just a regular plain old bag with lace on it it was like this peach color underneath it you see the peach color underneath it but it had lace on one side so what I did was I really did it up I put my own fabric beads on here I embroidered it with skulls and crossbone. I took a fabric uh, marker and put the swirls and uh, spirals in there. And I did the same pattern on the other side in the background. And I have an uh, embroidered pentagram and embroidered, but that was my cat, <laughs> embroidered the design, I mean the symbol for the goddess on here. And the handle is made from fabric beads that I made it myself. And this took quite a while. It took over a week to finish this, to make this. Uh, so yeah, each fabric bee is hand sewn and some of them are uh, hand embroidered as well. Some have pentagrams on it. Pentagrams is a sign of protection. So on the zipper part, um, it said it had the uh, logo of uh, Ipsy on it. So what I did was I uh, sewed my fa own fabric beads onto there so that their name's not on there, Ipsy's not on there. It's no longer an Ipsy bag. So look at that. So cute little bag. I have it on my um, my Etsy shop, so you can check it out. Um, definitely a labor of love, and it's definitely a bag that will last you for a while. Um, and a bag that you'd wear on special occasions and not just any old place so you don't get it dirty. It's a fancy bag. You could fit a, um, you could fit a cell phone keys, uh, maybe whatever else you want to put in there, makeup, but yeah, I like this, how it turned out, 
and uh, Vodou inspired um, Day of the Dead. So yeah, I, I love working with these fabrics and recycling. It makes me feel good that I can recycle this. I could get another usage out of it and it turned it into wearable art. So it's a whole different piece now than it was before. So yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. And here's the newer one that I'm working on. Um, the newer Ipsy bag that I'm uh, altering. It's the golden one. And I li really like this gold. It's really beautiful. I like the gold sequence on it. Um, and then one side of it is just plain. And um, what I figured is I'll do the same thing that I did with this bag is I'll put a cloth doll on there. Because I have a lot of well, cloth dolls. I put a cloth doll on there and um, what I'm doing right now though for this bag is I'm working on um, the strap. Like I did a strap, a fabric beaded strap for this bag. I'm going to do a fabric beaded strap for this bag. So this is what it looks like so far. It's little African goddesses on here. And their costume is gold. One has a gold dress on with a gold hat and one has a gold, uh, has golden hair. <laughs> with a, a silver dress on. So I'm just going to make a whole bunch of beads to cover this whole, um, which, what this is basically is a drawstring. So I'm stringing the beads onto the drawstring. And these beads, they take quite a while to make, but um, once I get it fully beaded, it's going to be worth it because it's going to be the handle to this, this golden Ipsy bag here. So that's going to be pretty cool. So that's what I'm working on so far with that one. So I'm wanting to make do that with all of these bags to make a fabric um, beaded handle for it and then put a little uh, fabric doll on there. So um, stay tuned for that but in the meantime you can go check this out. It's available on my my Etsy shop and you can also check it out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So um, I've, I have all of those up and I also while we're at it um, also recently posted on my Etsy shop, this um, fabric hand embroidered, hand sewn uh, dreadlock bead. So I posted this up too recently. So yeah, all the proceeds from the sales of the art that's on my shop goes towards helping me and my family. Uh, we live in, in a very tight quarters and very meager <laughs> conditions. So uh, Whenever you buy something from me, uh, I appreciate it. And also I have this keychain, this Rasta Queen keychain on sale on my Etsy shop. Uh, all hand sewn, all hand embroidered. So yeah, when you get something from me, it's going to last you for a while. So there you go. And you get a free handmade gift with your purchase. So it's like you get in two gifts. One gift, I mean you get in two works of art, one of them for free. So, and each one of them I take time and dedication in making. So, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's kind of dark in here, but just continue to recycle if you can. You know what I mean? You'd be amazed at what you can make. Um, I've been working on some clothing designs too. This one right here is one of them. Um, I basically just took a shirt and sewed it on to a pair of jeans. <laughs> And that's how I made this. But yeah, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope it inspires you to be creative and to recycle and upcycle fabrics whenever you can. And feel free to share with me any of the projects that you've done. Because I've seen some really cool fabric beads people have been making. And a lot of people are saying that it's from some of the tutorials they saw. So good on you guys for uh, being creative and recycling whenever you can. So um yeah, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below, like I said, and let me know. What are you doing to recycle? Alrighty, guys. Have a great day. Brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon.